Oh great, the two most desperate women to ever be on TV were on last night. Guys, Darcy and Stacy, they were on last night, and for some godforsaken reason, I sat there on my couch for an hour and watched the episode. And on last night's episode, Florian finally admitted to Stacy that he did cheat on her. Guys, so much stuff surprisingly went down on last night's episode that I'm going to get into in a couple of seconds. Surprisingly, last night was actually a pretty good episode. But first, let's talk about when Florian finally told Stacy that he he cheated. Now, we all know, if you don't already know, that Florian was caught in pictures and videos with another woman, and it went on and on and on, and finally, this woman actually sent Darcy a video of her with Florian in her bedroom, and it didn't look very good if you were Stacy, and Darcy sent the video to Stacy. Stacy saw it. She was devastated. She was hurt. She ended up leaving Florian for the time being. Then the next day, she picked him up, and Florian Florian confessed that what happened was she wanted to become a model and that because Florian is a model, she reached out to him and they got together and they hung out two times. But he said that nothing ever happened. We were just doing some modeling and we were in her bedroom and one thing led to another and she took that video. But he promised, hey, you know, Florian, obviously he has a good word and he promised and said nothing happened. We just took that video. We were messing around. She she was trying to kind of make it look worse than it really was, but nothing happened. So everything seemed good. It didn't seem like he really cheated. Stacy, she, you know, forgave him. She was like, okay, we can rebuild. This is going to work out. But the next night, Stacy and Florian went out to dinner with, you know, Darcy and Stacy's two friends, those women, and they also went out to dinner with Georgie and Darcy. And that is when Stacy and Darcy's friends were questioning the heck out of Florian again. And finally, Florian pulled Stacy to the side and said, you know what? I have another secret. I still am holding something inside. And he said that him and that woman actually did a little smooching a few times, but he promised that, you know, we did do a little smooching, but there was no passion, no chemistry, nothing was there. And so I watched that and I sat on the floor and just hysterically laughed because about 10 minutes earlier, he promised her. And also when the producers asked Florian, is there anything else? Did anything else happen with you and this woman? He said no. So now all of a sudden, about 10 minutes later, he tells, you know, Stacy that actually, no, you know, the truth is me and her did do a little bit of this, but he promised that, you know, it wasn't very serious, no chemistry. And all I can just say is, wow, we have one word in the dictionary, in the English dictionary for a guy like Florian, and that is a complete pathological liar. Because about a second earlier, he said something completely opposite. So Florian clearly has a very serious lying problem. And I don't know about you guys, but if I was Stacy, I would not believe another word out of that guy's mouth. So the episode started off with Florian lying and then finally admitting that he did in fact cheat on her. But let me just say he promised it didn't go any further than the smooching, if you know what I mean. That's all where it went. But after we saw Florian lie and lie and lie, you know, again and again and again, are we really going to believe him? I mean, come on, guys. Obviously, if they did a little bit of this and they were in her bedroom, I'm sure that, you know, thing, you know, went to the next level. I can only imagine what they did. And like I said, if I was Stacy, I would not be happy. But surprisingly, she forgave them. She's going to forgive and forget. And their marriage appears to be somewhat kind of working well, I guess. So more on those two in a couple of seconds. I want to fast forward over to Georgie and Darcy because Darcy is still talking about the fact that Georgie is married to another woman. And it's starting to give me a real legitimate serious migraine. If I hear Darcy talk about the fact that Georgie is still married to anyone. I don't care if it is her friend or her parents or a homeless guy across the street. I am going to lose it. I cannot stand this. Every single second, Darcy feels like she's trying to one-up Stacy with more drama and just more stuff going on in her life. And, you know, the drama with Florian and this other woman, it's real. It is a real thing.
saying that Florian did cheat on Stacy. That really happened. But the drama with the fact that Georgie is married, it's not really a real thing because Georgie, he wants to get divorced. He was supposed to get divorced. But because of the quarantine, he wasn't able to get divorced in March. So it got postponed. He is not still like trying to be with this woman. He's not still in love with her. So there really is no drama. But for some unbelievably annoying reason, every second Darcy comes into contact with anyone that kind of knows her and Georgie, she feels the need to tell them. So she went out to dinner with her and her friends. Like I said, Stacy and Florian were there too. It was her and Georgie and these two girlfriends. And guess what? She immediately sat down and she just spilled the beans that, oh my God, I've been holding something inside and it's really starting to hurt. I need to let it out. And it's the fact that Georgie is still married. But I mean, you know, even Georgie was kind of just like, yeah, I'm married. I've been trying to get a divorce. Um, I'm working on getting a divorce. Really not that big of a deal. This Georgie guy, he seems like a coolerish guy. I hate to say that. I know you guys are probably going to hate me for kind of liking Georgie. I don't know why. Though for something about his vibe and his energy, I think the guy is absolutely out of his mind for being with Darcy and for kind of putting up with all her craziness. But something about about him makes me believe that he's not as bad as, as he everyone you know kind of puts him out to be but maybe I'm reading him wrong so anyway Darcy she was so hung up on the fact that he is still married they went to that dinner they she told her friends immediately they were concerned but I feel like deep down everyone's kind of just like oh not that big of a deal. But after the dinner, we had not one, but two birthday parties. We had Darcy and Stacy's mom's birthday party, and also it was Florian's birthday. Now, I don't know how old he was turning, like 27 or 8 or 29. He's still very young, but it was his birthday, and they had a hilarious birthday party. And not only did Darcy show up, she also showed up with Georgie and that is when I feel like she kind of crossed a line because what went down was Darcy brought Georgie to this barbecue and you know her parents were there her mom and dad and her two daughters who are like 14 15 16 years old and I just feel like she kind of crossed a line bringing him there too soon. I mean, put in the comments below what you guys think, if you agree or disagree. But don't you guys at least agree that, hey, she's been dating this guy for a few weeks at absolute most. Like, she's only hung out with him a couple of times, even though, yes, they are quarantined together. But it hasn't been very long. It hasn't been, you know, months and months and months. It's just been a couple of weeks. And for her to introduce this new random man to her two daughters, I feel like it's a little rude, a little uncalled for, and kind of just awkward. So he comes in, Georgie, he has a good amount of confidence and, and swag. So he was fine. It wasn't too terribly awkward. You could see he was nervous, but the two daughters, they were fine with it. Now, I don't know if they were uncomfortable or not. If I was Darcy's daughters, I would be very uncomfortable and be like, who is this guy with the long, you know, black hair who I've never met before, who looks like he's 21 years old. But they were going along where they were joking around. And then Darcy's dad met Georgie and surprised Surprisingly, they had a really good conversation, but like always, Darcy had to sit down, she introduced the two of them, and, you know, per typical Darcy, she told her dad that, oh yeah, oh wait, Georgie is still married. Like, why would she have to tell her dad that her current boyfriend, who she's been dating for a couple of weeks, is married, but like extremely close to getting a divorce with his ex-wife? He is not even really still married. They have been separated for like a year. They're not together. It's not a real marriage. But for some reason, once again, Darcy feels the need to tell everyone everything. So of course, the dad was like, oh, it's kind of concerning, I guess. But he was like, at the end of the day, just seal the deal, you know, get the divorce, make it final and move on with your life. And the funny thing is, Darcy's dad, he can't really judge or point fingers either because he divorced Darcy's mom. So I mean, it's like he really can't judge. Darcy and Stacy were married and divorced, so they can't judge. Georgie, he's going to fit in perfectly. He is married, and he's just about ready to get a divorce, too. So they're not very different, nothing out of the you know ordinary, and he was fitting in really well with uh, Darcy's dad. They were getting along. Darcy's dad seemed to like him. Florian and Georgie, they get along really well, and the icing on the cake, the kicker for the episode was Georgie kept going on and on about how he 
feels so bad and heartbroken that Darcy doesn't trust him and this and that because he is still married. And because of that, he even said he wants to prove his love, so he bought a guess what? A diamond ring. Yes, he bought Darcy an engagement ring. He is going to propose and oh my God. God, I mean, you know, what earth and world do we live in where a guy is going to buy a diamond ring for a woman while he is still technically legally married and after he has just met this random woman just a few weeks ago? I mean, he hasn't known Darcy very long. You know, they don't know each other at all. And he already bought her a diamond ring. So I don't know if this is scripted or if this is just fake or if this Georgie guy is just completely, you know, boom, out of his mind. I mean, I'd love to know what you guys think actually because the majority of you guys I love you all dearly and y'all are usually pretty rational thinking people me eh, not so much so I at first I thought Georgie was just nice and cool a little out there for dating Darcy in the long hair but overall a pretty normal ish kind of a guy but after seeing him buy her an engagement ring after just knowing each other for a couple weeks I mean come on on it's just way too soon so he said yes i bought her an engagement ring but we also got to see in the preview that he uh, you know admitted that he still is holding back more secrets and i have a hunch and you guys can mark my words but i have a very big hunch that he's going to admit that he has a little kid now i could be completely wrong i have no idea but i just feel like if he was married and he has another secret it has to be the fact that he has a kid I mean, doesn't it? What else would the other secret be? He's like, you know, some crazy person. There's not many more secrets he could still have that Darcy would be okay with. So I just feel like that has to be the secret that Georgie has a kid. So now I'm standing here wondering two things. Number one, is Georgie really going to propose to Darcy? And then, you know, probably actually three things. Number one, is he really going to propose? Number two, um, you know, do they actually get engaged? Like if he does propose, are they still engaged in present day? And number three, I am so unbelievably curious, when is this show going to be over? I thought once the family Chantel came back, this Darcy and Stacy show would be done, but I guess not because the family Chantel is coming back tonight, October 12th, but, you know, it really does seem like Darcy and Stacy's show is going to be going on for a few more weeks, which at first I was just complaining because it was so boring. There wasn't any good drama. But now the stuff with Florian cheating and Georgie having some other secret and Georgie possibly proposing, this show just keeps suckering me in. So guys, I am sorry. If you can't stand this show, I really do sincerely apologize. But for some reason, I continue to watch Darcy. Darcy and Stacy's show, and I'm telling you guys, they are by far the two most desperate women I have ever met on TV, at least, in my entire life. I mean, if you guys see what happened with Florian and Stacy, and how Florian just lied his you-know-what off, and he lied and lied and lied, and he finally just admitted that, yes, I did cheat and blah, blah, blah. It is just hilarious and it's so wrong and sad. But for Stacy just to say, okay, it's fine, okay, it's fine, I mean, how desperate can you be? So, Darcy and Stacy, you guys, y'all already know, I want to hear from you. And if any of you guys actually do know when this show, when the season premiere, you know, season ending, season finale, I guess, is, um, let me know. I'm actually really curious. So, if any of you guys know the exact date and you're confident on it, put in the comments below. I am legit legitimately curious, but for everyone else that has a comment or a note to share about how unbelievably desperate and crazy all of these people are, from Florian to Georgie to Darcy and Stacy, comment below your thoughts. I'm definitely curious what you guys have to say. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tap that like button, comment below, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I don't know what in God's name you are waiting for. Tap that subscribe button, and I hope you all better stay tuned for many more videos.